Hey, this is uh, Chris from Landmark showing you the house right here on uh, 2516, 2516 North 48. It's right on the corner of uh, 48th and uh, Northwest Radio, just right there on the corner. It's a three bedroom, one car garage house. Um, it has a dining room, living room, kitchen. Uh, let's get the dining room going here. On the main level, here's the, I kind of come in through the side door there. Got a side door there. Get a video of that for you. Hardwood floors. And this is in the Benson, well, in the sort of in the Benson area. And then you have a uh, living room on this side. Fireplace uh, does not work. Um, yeah, fire, fireplace is not work, operational right now. Okay. And uh, has a main door right here. It's just you can either come through the main door. I knew the chain was on there, so I came through the side door. But uh, it's mainly you can park on the street there, which where I park, or you can come in the driveway. So one car garage. Let me get back here and show you this. This is the uh, uh, living room. Okay, has lots of windows. Okay, and then uh, let's do the dining room one last time here, so you can kind of have an idea what's going on in the dining room. Okay, hopefully I'm not moving too fast for you. Um, and then it goes right through to um, kitchen. You can get in the kitchen two different kind of ways from the living room or the dining room. Um, ceiling fan, um, the dishwasher, stove, microwave. You have to get your own fridge. It does not come with a fridge. Um, has lots of countertop space there. Okay, hardwood floors in the kitchen. Um, there's a microwave there. Have lots of little cubby holes up here uh, where you can put stuff or little whatnots or whatever. And then you have a, a spice rack up in here where you can put spices and things like that. And another little spice rack over here. Okay, got a lot of space in here. So um, go ahead and show you that stove and microwave. And your fridge will go right here. Okay, um, dishwasher is here, sink is there, and then you have the uh, the uh, dining room area again. I showed you that area already. Okay, so let's go to the basement, make our way from the bottom to the top. So basement is straight down. And it's just a concrete basement. It's not a finished basement. Um, wash and dryers are here. Um, I believe they were left by the previous tenant or they already maybe was in here before the tenant moved in. But you have a lot of open area over here to store stuff or you can maybe put a TV down here if you would like. Um, and then um, washing uh, dryer hookups over there. And then you got another little area over here, which would be another little storage area back up in here. And then the furnace area is here. Furnace is fairly new. Um, when was this put in here? Um, 2010. So the furnace is fairly new. It's only four years old. So um, this is the basement. So it's not too bad of a basement. It's not a creepy basement at all by any means. Um, let's go upstairs. Okay. And um, off the main area again, which is the living room there. Just come down the hallway. You have the bathroom right here. And it has a clawfoot tub, a toilet, and a sink. Okay. Hopefully you can see everything. Um, hardwood floors again in the bathroom. And then um, area where you can put, the bathroom's pretty huge. So um, definitely a big bathroom, okay. Cut the lights off as we go. And then you walk around. You got two bedrooms on the main level, one to the right and one to the left. Um, I like I always say what size bed you could put in the bedroom. Um, you could probably get away with a king size bed in here. There was a king size bed in here before, so you could probably get away with that again. Okay, you got a closet there. Closet's there, and then the garage will be in the back back here. Um, that's the one car garage, if you can see that, and in the backyard. Um, got a little trash here from the wind. It's pretty windy in Nebraska today, but we'll get that up, cleaned up here. No problem. 
but that's the backyard. It's not fenced in at all. Um, the garage and then the driveway is right there. So um, go around to the next bedroom. This bedroom has carpet on it. Um, wasn't able to do the floors in this bedroom. Looks like, well, yeah, a ceiling fan in this room. Okay. And the closet. Let's go look at the closet here. There's a the closet there. Just a regular walk-in closet kind of thing. Big, huge doors. They don't make them like this no more. This is a huge, huge door. Solid door. Um, this is kind of an old house. Old house in the Benson area. All these doors are pretty solid. So, yeah, pretty solid doors. They don't make them like that anymore. So let's go ahead and take a look at this room again. You can get a king-size bed in this room as well. King or the queen. King or the queen. Either or. Okay. And let's make our way upstairs, which is the uh, kind of the third bedroom up here. And it's like the whole area up here is, a, is a, considered a bedroom. So you got a huge area up here. Okay. Um, can have two bedrooms up here almost. Get some lights going on up here. Okay. And you got a bathroom up here, uh, which is just a toilet and a sink sink there and then the toilet over there so it's a pretty big bathroom too okay and then let me give you a pan of this area here hopefully you can see it uh, let me go cut the light on okay that's a light kind of old-fashioned light but it's kind of old house so um you have bookshelves in here which is neat Normally these things get destroyed, but it's still here. Um, bookshelf. And it got a childproof lock on it. The lady that used to live here had a baby, so she kind of used this as her upstairs. Had the uh, baby area over there. Okay. And then over here is the area I was telling you about here. Now this house does not have central air. It has like um, these big uh, portable air conditioner deals. There's two of them in here. We can use those, but we are thinking about putting central air in the unit. That's a possibility. Um, the rental will be adjusted for that too, so if you're interested in it, we can leave it as is, or if you prefer to have central air, we can make that happen as well. Um, but it'll definitely be an upcharge on that, so. <clears throat> okay. But this is the house at 2516 North 48. Just kind of a glance at it so you can have an idea when you see it on my listings. And um, give me a call back, 402-657-6938. Chris with the Landmark Group. And um, we can definitely make this happen for you if you're interested in it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching my videos.